Hello guys and welcome to our third tutorial of installing GTK4 on Linux Mint. Until now we saw how we can uh, create, uh, better say how we can get uh, our environment set and uh, we saw how we can install Mason. Now it is time to move on with the glib. For this uh, we need basically to install some libraries which are very very important before we proceed with our glib. So I'm going to open a terminal. The first thing first, uh, I'm going to check the environment like in uh, all other videos. And as you can see, it doesn't get set. So we need to set it, source, and then um, set environment. It was yes. And now if we call the check environment again, it gets set. Okay, now we are not going to close the terminal to not lose that information. Instead, we are going to install all these libraries. Uh, basically, these libraries are, are needed uh, for compiling glib with the, some information which is needed um, for that compilation to get placed without any problems. So now it is getting that information for us. We will need to wait a little bit until it's done. Now the next thing uh, which we are going to do, it is uh, after it's done. So I'm going to. Um, no, I'm going to wait until it's done. It will take a couple seconds more and then we can proceed with uh, the information which I want or I need to provide you. So the next thing we are going to create this directory right here which will be in home our temporary glib will. Okay, that was the last one. Bad. So copy and paste it now we can move inside that folder change directory home temporary glib and now that we're here we need to install the um, g we need to get the glib version but before we do that i, I want to see if 100 percent sure that this is the less latest version so down download dot genome dot org if we go here then if we click on the sources and then we scroll to glib let me see where is it uh, right here if we check uh, we have 2672 as you can see wait 267 yes this is the last one and the latest one is 3 okay which is new which is different from from mine that being said i'm going to copy this link right here and i'm going to change this information with the actual newly link so now that we have it i'm going to copy it and with the help of uh, uh, wget we are going to get this information as i said uh, glib which is uh, point 0.3 now. I had point 0.2 at the moment when I was creating uh, this tutorial or, or better say where, where uh, was working with this one. Now the next thing which we need, we need to call tar minus uh, jxf and then of course the glib uh, our tar. Now I'm going to update this information as well right here because it's different or as I said I'm going to remove two with three which means I need to also change this one because we need to move in that folder copy yes here this information and of course here it is the Mason build which is uh, the file we needed and now at this point I'm going to call Mason minus minus prefix um, as you can see home user and of course we are going to put all that, inf all that information inside the build directory which we have created before. So I'm going to copy, paste, I'm going to hit enter, and as you can see, it is uh, checking if all that information uh, available for us, um, it is there. If, if, if we have it and we get no error, the ninja should be yes. Found ninja, which means it's good, everything is at its place. Now the next thing which we need, we need to call ninja minus um, C uh, and then of course to point it to that build directory again I was I copied the wrong one because we need all command copy 
I'm going to hit enter and as you can see it is to see this kind of warnings just ignore them they are working with to really follow the rules which means they are They are oh, never return some. Okay, until it's done, which as you now that the compilation got done, as you can see right here, twelve hundred twenty. The next thing which we need, we need to install all that information by calling ninja uh, minus c and then the build and install now as you can see it is putting it all that information inside that uh, those um, um, or that, that folder which we are creating it now let me i don't need this one let me delete now let me see if we go inside the user right here we have a binary which as you can see are those informations we have the libraries and of course we have the glib right here and the package config which is good and of course uh, the include files also from the gio and glib that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys